Uh, this vehicle up here is uh, matching the description of a carjacking vehicle that we had earlier. I'm going to drive up here and uh, run the plate, see if this is the uh, vehicle involved. George, when it's right, 1050, expired 722 of 05 on an 83 Toyota. Shows out of Ontario. Jeff, we're going to have traffic on that vehicle. He's blacking out. I'm going to be in pursuit. I'm going to be um, westbound, Merrill, approaching Willow. Looks like we got the 215 vehicle. 80 miles an hour. Occupied by a black male. Approaching Cedar at a red light. Still 80. you get another one. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm sorry, man. I'm very sorry, though. George wasn't taking one in custody. Don't grab me. We're in a cul-de-sac. Meryl. You okay? in a cul-de-sac. Yeah. For info, uh, subject was tased and legal intervention used on vehicle. Oh, don't move. You okay? You need paramedics? No, you all right? Let me see. It's jammed. All right. Did you hit your head? Did you hit your head when you crashed? Yeah. Tried to block him in, but the guy actually swerved into uh, right. Jackson. Me, Doc, I just confirmed only one subject. That's a firm. What's that, brother? It's good to get him out. Can I that? Okay. to the station? Can, uh, Q, can you guys transport this guy? He's got darts in him. Let's start Lems. Yeah, all right. See if we can get those darts out. Okay. We'll get RFD over there then. And What's up, Spike? You know this guy? Try to get this guy's name. Find out why he's running though. Okay. Let me rip these off. Hey, what's your name, man? Huh? Sam, 30 guys. What's your name? Uh, transport the suspect knife. Ricky, what? Um, after our look up there. Okay. What's these tattoos right here? Four five. You got a crack pipe? Yep. Oh, that's good. Why are you running for it? Because of the crack pipe? What else? You high? No, I'm not high. What are you running for? You know, you almost hit that cop stand out in the middle of the road, right? Huh? What's up with that? You don't really care? I'm not even trying. You didn't try to kill him? I'm not sure. Why didn't you just stop? Is that a stolen vehicle? No. Huh? Did you jack somebody for that car? No? I'm sorry. Huh? Nah. Nah? All right. Take a seat, man. Have a seat. Right back. It's a carjacking vehicle. Came out about 1800 this afternoon. They beat the guy up and took his vehicle from him. The guy wouldn't stop, blocked him in, and ended up knocking out his light here. He's looking at uh, carjacking, possession of a stolen vehicle, Assault with a deadly weapon and uh, assault on a on a police officer with injury because Jackson's fingers all messed up. I didn't do nothing to him. I'm tired of going to jail. Okay, you're going again. Oh, we're in route to cover Deputy uh, Garcia on a call of uh, actually a report of domestic violence. The alleged suspect is uh, going to meet us here at the station, Station 62, which is our substation, um, to give her side of the story. 
but chances are she is going to be arrested and uh, she has the potential for being violent, so he requested a backup unit just in case things go wrong. What's going on? I called you guys because I'm having a problem over there. And I've had this problem many times before. Okay. He's called the cops many times to have me false arrest. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. I sit around and I wait for the cops to come to listen to my side of the story, and they never do. They just take me to jail for nothing. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not going to deal with that anymore because I feel like the police are being biased because he's lied on me so many times, okay? Nothing happened, but I'm afraid that something is going to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, Aretha, he already filed a, a report, and he filed charges against you for that. For... Behind the car wash, ma'am. Ma Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground right now. You guys. Six fall extra. I've got the female detained. Get on the stomach. You have anything on you that I need to know about? No. My, can you guys, my mom's over there? See, this is the problem. Okay. Please don't have anything on me. Five code four, females detained. Hello. Yes, sir. Take her straight That's to 60. You guys, my, can you tell my mom she's waiting? Take off five, please, 1120. Spread your legs. I can't Short believe this. With, uh, I didn't even do right. nothing to him. Nothing. That's why I want to see you guys. I didn't do nothing to him. He keeps putting me in jail. You guys, please stop. Stop. She's stop. That's a damn heart. Okay, relax. We'll She's go talk to your mom right now. You should have considered that before you ran. Sir, because I'm tired of going to jail. Okay. Well, you're going again. Okay. She's clear. Come on. Okay, can you We're going to transfer her into his car. We're going to go ahead and follow them down to the station until they get her side of the story and booked into custody. Can you tell me about the incident today in your apartment with your husband? He's not my husband. There was no incident. It was just an argument. It was an argument? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you spit in his face? No, I did not. Then, I did not spit in his face. Well, if, if you knew that he was calling us, why don't you stick around so I could get your side of the story? No, because every time he's called the police, I've gone to jail. The last time he called the police, I went to jail. I stuck around and I thought about leaving, but that doesn't mean I'm guilty. With all these domestic violence issues, you've been arrested four times. Yes. This is going to be the fifth time. Right. Okay. He's been arrested how many times? Once. Once. And nothing ever happened to me. So, he, so he that, me that's five incidents happened. that we've had between you guys yeah. with domestic violence. Yes. Why stay under the same roof if you're divorced? Why? Well, because at the time, in, just in September, I found out we're really, really divorced. Do you really understand the domestic violence law? What I don't understand, sir? is how come you guys just take his word and there's no evidence. I, that's that's uh, what I don't, that's what I'm I not there. The law requires me to take I whoever know. the aggressor so is. I understand that, but okay. you don't, but, but what I'm saying is that I've called the sheriffs on him before when I had to, okay, and they didn't do nothing. And there was clearly evidence. He pushed me. He pushed me. I don't want the cops in my business. I could have called the police. And you probably should have. And the long and short of this is, is that in domestic violence, the state now gets involved. We don't leave it up to you and we don't leave it up to the husband. Okay, so we listen to your side of the story and we listen to his side of the story. And basically in the short time that we talked to you, what you said was nothing happened, it was just an argument. It and in talking to him, what he claims is that you push and you spit on him. Whether that means you're guilty or he's guilty, that's for your day in court. That's what I don't understand. The way we come up with that determination is he's alleging that you did something and you're saying nothing happened. And we so because of that, we have to do something. This time it'll be a misdemeanor instead of a felony last arrest. Okay? Sir, can I please just call? I mean, just make one quick call. Anybody who really needs to know already knows where you're at.